Aubrey Coleman is one of the most talented players that I've had the privilege to coach. He, he has such drive and competitiveness uh, every single day he brings it. Every day in practice, and he plays hard in every single contest that we play. Uh, he's a coach's dream. He's a good student athlete. He's a great teammate, and he's a leader. And I think this year as a senior, uh, he's going to be a great leader for us. Kelvin Lewis is one of those kids that every coach should have the pleasure of coaching. He, he, he's a yes sir, no sir type kid, great student athlete, outstanding leader, uh, one of the best defensive players I've had. He takes real pride in taking the other team's best guard or small forward and, and trying to limit him or take him out of the action. And he did it numerous times for us last year. And I expect him to expand his game. Uh, each year he's gotten better and he has a tremendous work ethic. Well, we have uh, a great returning cast, uh, probably the best I've ever had since I've been at Houston, and we also have the best recruiting class I've ever had. We have three incoming freshmen, uh, Kendrick Washington, 6'7", 260, kind of a, a Charles Barkley, only a little bit bigger, in that he handles the ball like a guard, and he's real strong. He has guard skills, uh, tremendous strength in and around the basket. He was 5A Player of the Year as a junior in Louisiana. He's from Shreveport, uh, Huntington High School, and I think he's going to be an impact player right away. Uh, then 6'9", 220, Kirk Van Slyke. I can't remember a better shooter that I've recruited. Uh, he can step outside and knock down threes. Uh, he's a good rebounder, uh, a very good athlete and a guy who I feel, again, will have an immediate impact on our club. Uh, the other freshman uh, is Nick Haywood, who's this year's 5A Player of the Year in Louisiana. Uh, he's from Wachita, Louisiana, where he led his team to the state championship. Great leader, uh, captain of his team, school leader. All three of these freshmen are not just great basketball players, but outstanding students. These kids could have gotten into Stanford or Northwestern, uh, and we're real proud of that uh, because the more you win, the more you build a winning culture, you not only get better athletes, but you get better students. We have uh, two outstanding junior college players to add to our three freshmen. And uh, Adam Brown is a 6'3 guard that shot 48% from three. Uh, he's from Collin County Community College. Uh, and then Mo McNeil, uh, Maurice Mc McNeil is 6'9". Uh, he averaged 20 points and 12 rebounds at San Jacinto, and he's a kid that I think can step right in uh, and give us the type of athleticism and scoring power up front uh, that we're going to miss in losing Marcus Kazan. Well, this is, I believe this is by far the most talent we've ever had, and, and talent and depth. We've got a lot of returning players. I mean, guys like Zamal Nixon, who had an outstanding last third of the season. He'll be a junior uh, and uh, a tremendous uh, point guard. He can score. Nick Mosley is back for his senior year uh, and I think uh, he, he really came on and helped us uh, win a lot of games last year at the end of the season. And uh, we, we've got a very deep and talented ball club. So the hardest thing I think for me is going to be decide to be uh, you know, to figure out who gets the playing time and, and uh, what style. Now, I, I've always preferred an up-tempo style, and last year, if we didn't lead the conference in scoring, we were right up there with Memphis. I think this year we're going to be capable of scoring, you know, 90 points a game and also being a quicker uh, defensive ball club. So I'm really looking forward to the season.